Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about top coats. Now this is a hot topic. I get questions about recommendations quite a bit. So we're gonna get through a few of my favorites today. Now I use different top coats for different occasions or different purposes, whether that's using a really glossy top coat for textured manicures, or I need something that's gonna dry really quickly. I have different selections for those. That said, I'm always on the lookout for different top coat recommendations. So go ahead and put your favorites in the comment section below. Now without further ado, let's get into it. So first up I have the Cuticula Limitless Top Coat. Now this is my go-to for all around wear. This top coat is for quick dry purposes. Is it that quick dry? I have tried some top coats that are a little bit more on the quick dry, but it is quicker than a standard dry time for top coats. It does have a thicker consistency as well, which works great for textured polishes. I love the brush. It's a little bit wider than a standard brush and it applies beautifully. They have scented and unscented options. Right now I have the scented option in blue slush and their unscented option is also available at the same price as well. Next I have Jelly from Dimension Nails and this is a super glossy top coat and it has a bit of a thicker consistency than the standard top coat as well. If you're using a nail polish that has a lot of glitters, a lot of flakies, this is a really great top coat if you want to smooth out that texture and you want to add some extra shine. It says it's a gel like top coat and it really does give that look to any manicure. Even though it is a gel like top coat, it does air dry. The dry time is about a standard dry time. This top coat is 10 free. It's free of the 10 toxic chemicals found in some nail polish. I mentioned nails is also cruelty free and vegan friendly. If you do want to try out this top coat, I do have an affiliate coupon code which you're welcome to use. The brush in this one is actually wider than the standard brush, which I love. I love wider brushes, especially for applying top coat. And it also leaves us with a gorgeous glossy shine and I'm like in love with it. And yeah, it's like, it's, love it. <laughs> Next up, I have these two from Pop Polish and I count them as one just because they're pretty much the same. They have a little subtle differences to them as well. We have the liquid glass and then we also have the radioactive glass. Starting with the liquid glass, this is your standard top coat. It has all the glossing effect. This is another go-to top coat when it comes to textured nail polish. It has a really great smoothening effect and this one is radioactive glass and the main difference with this one is that it glows in black light but I do use it from time to time for regular manicures I love the glossing effect on that one thing to note though is that it does have a bluish purple hue to it so I don't recommend using it with blue polish or purple polish or some cool toned pink creams as well because it'll change the color it'll change it just slightly it'll still be the color but it'll be like a different hue because of that mix of bluish purple so just a warning on that <laughs> next we have the ultra glossy seal from zoya i love this one for swatching nail polish it does give us a really great glossing effect it does add that extra shine i don't find it to be much more glossier than the standard top coat I find it to be just about the same. I personally love using this for swatching because it does give just enough gloss, it dries just quick enough and because I'm changing my manicure so frequently I don't need it to last long. Especially if you're not too particular in long wear then this definitely is also one you can look into. Last but certainly not least is the Sesh V top coat. Now as the name suggests it is a quick dry top coat. This is definitely my go-to if I'm in a rush and I'm just trying to get my nails dry and ready to go. This one to me is the best drying top coat that I've used. This is also my go-to top coat if I know that I'm doing a manicure a little bit too close to bedtime. I will put on the Sesh V top coat for a quick dry and that way I'm not waking up with the sheet imprints on my nails when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> it is my go-to when I just need to get out the door. I need something quick to dry these nails. Oops, I ran out of time. Something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I find personally that the top coat 
tends to not react well with some nail polish combinations, whether it's the base coat or the color that I'm applying. Sometimes it will have that shrinking effect, it gives you that like worn look. It just really depends on the nail polish combination. Anyways, guys, so that is my roundup of favorite top coats. Make sure you leave your favorites in the comment section below. I will put links in the description box so you can check out any of these top coats mentioned in this video. So for me, I find the Dimension Nails Jelly Polish lasts longest for me and the Pop Polish, but of course it's gonna be different for different people. One note I have about top coats in general is that long wear really depends on so many different factors. You know, it depends on the base coat you're using. It depends on if you're even using a base coat, the color polish you're using. Are you doing three different brands? Sometimes the formulation doesn't work out between the three of them. So you just kind of got to test different ones and see what works best for you and your nail chemistry. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and please go ahead and subscribe for more videos like these. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.